All right, try to give you a little bit of a, a video of how it, how the game plays. Um, down below here we have our plunger button, a coin lift. Over here we have coin uh, number of co uh, credits to add, I guess. Uh, the start button, and then an escape key to exit out and go back. And on the sides we have uh, the nudge buttons and the plunger, or I'm sorry, um, flipper buttons. Um, to navigate through the menu, you use the plunger button, or the flipper buttons, and currently I have about 250, 228 uh, tables on here, so it's, uh, been, been doing a little bit of cleanup. I had a few more on there, but I had a lot of duplicates, so, uh, as you can see. Um, to go into a game, we... Basically, choose it, hit the plunger button, uh, it comes up with the sub menu. Uh, from there, you can actually filter down to only show certain games like the ones from the 70s or by a certain manufacturer and so on. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and play the game. So, when I hit the plunger button again, we'll get it to launch. Um, pretty much every one of these uh, future pinball games will go through a startup like this or a little bit of flashing out of the screen and then you'll see it loading all the objects. Some go much faster than others like this one. This is a little more old-fashioned uh, game and actually uses a manual lifter on it so um, I've got the coin dispenser working or uh, coin door working now so drop one in there. Let's see it gets started. And then we're going to reach down hit the lift button and see it kick the ball up. Hold the plunger, watch it go back. Oop, that was quick. So anyway, we'll, we'll skip out of this for now. I'm going to hit the escape key down here. And it'll take me right back to the main menus. And go through and choose some other games. How about you'll see it'll some some of the uh, games I've got table images and wheel images set up for, and others are blank like this one. So just need to go finish setting some of them up. see different types. This one's Future Pinball. I've actually got some visual pinball games on here and they um, currently the ones I have loaded aren't running in the, the table display. They're sideways or more of a desktop mode. So take another one of these. This one will take a little bit longer to load. But currently I've taken the, the camera off of here for now and just kind of need to do the wiring and finish up some setup and then I need to get back to doing my trim work where I'm going to have the glass up here and then I'll trim the, the uh, lock bar down the ends off so that it matches the trim once I get it in place and get everything rounded over so right now there's some pretty sharp corners on there. So... Some of the games take only one quarter, some or more, so um, probably go through and set them up where all of them are one one quarter. So This is one that has a, a DMD, the digital matrix display on the back, built into the, the back screen as far as some people add a third third monitor for that. Um, I've, I'm not, I'm only running two monitors right now, so see how many this one takes. Oh. All right. Some of these have actual plunger that kicks off and some of them where, you, where it pulls back and it simulates an old-fashioned one, some of them just launch 
when you hit the button. So. Need to resize this table. I can go in and resize each of them, rescale them a little bit to look a little better. This one looks like it's a little bit stretched out. too hard. Come on, knock loose. Come on. Anyway. Well, that's a good overview of how it plays, so thanks for watching. <laughs>